okay uh, let's create a new project for this choose a web application and change the authentication to individual user accounts this will create the project with the .NET Core identity with the entity framework with the necessary migrations for the user accounts this will take some time Let's uh, run this to check whether it is working or not. All your application settings will be stored in app, app settings uh, .json file, and we have to define our database connection string in here. Let's create a database. I'm just going to assign a user for this database and let's make sure test user have permission to access the database that we just created. We can generate the connection string uh, using this. And just copy it and go ahead to append the password to the string like this. Let's override the function on configuration and tell the application to use the default connection string. Since we change the construct of this class, uh, let's change the startup file because uh, the startup file is using this file, this is this class. Let's update our database by typing update database in the package manager console.
you can see now the tables have been created you can find the uh, samba code from here and i will put the link in the description so you can refer them and thank you for watching this tutorial and have a nice day